Good early morning. Welcome to Simply Country Cuisine. We thought this morning it would be a good idea to give you a short, quick video on how to prepare your evening meal and you can have it ready for preparation in about 10-15 minutes. We're going to make a, a crock pot pot roast with vegetables and gravy. Now I've already seared off my two and a half pound roast. This will easily feed four people, which it will be doing. And I just dredged it in a little flour and put enough oil in the pan uh, to sear it up on both sides because you want to keep your juices in. Put a little salt and pepper on it. And that's all you have to do. Now I pre-seared it. And now I'm going to add it to my crock pot. And if you can see, I have a liner in my crock pot, which will make cleaning easier, especially for your working moms and wives that <clears throat> work all day long and you're preparing. All you gotta do is just lift this thing out and throw it away. So we'll put the roast in the crock pot. And I have pre-cut uh, a large onion and I've, and I've used, I've cut them in a large uh, rustic sizes because you want to be able to eat your vegetables, see your vegetables when uh, you're eating them. So we have onion, I have uh, four carrots and as you can see I've cut them kind of big. I think if you cut them too small they'll, they'll get a little mushy. So my hands are clean I'm going to take my carrots out, sprinkle them in. And now I have got six small russet potatoes. I peeled and cut them in about the same size as my carrots. Because if you cut everything the same size, everything will cook uh, at, the, at the same time. And I'm, I've just set it in water to keep the pot uh, potatoes from browning till we uh, were able to view the video, uh, do the video. Now, in the comments below, you will have the equivalence of the amount of seasonings. I use a beef broth. I use Worcestershire sauce, tomato paste, and I like to put a brown gravy packet in mine. This will help with the gravy and they have seasoning and seasonings in here, again, to make a, a shortcut. I've mixed it together, which comes up to about four cups of liquid. Pour it over your vegetables and be, uh, roast. And remember, your crock pot will make more juices as the day goes through. Now, put the lid on. And I'm gonna turn it on low. You cook it low for six to eight hours, high about four hours, but I'm gonna put it on low. So if you come back with us this afternoon, Ms. Dina and I will show you the result. You can serve this up with some green beans or a salad, some crusty bread or biscuits, but it makes for a really, really healthy, nutritious evening meal and throw the bag away and you're virtually done. So we'll see you in several hours. Welcome back. We left you this morning as we put the roast, the potatoes, the carrots, and the onions in the crock pot, and we went off to work. We've come home, and since I've been home, I have uh, done up some country green beans. I made some butter swim biscuits, which I will show later in a video. And let's check our roast out. And carrots. Mmm, this smells so good. Here's the potatoes and the look how flavored it is and how, look at the gravy juice. There's tons of juice in here. All right, now let me get a plate. Put a little piece of roast on, whoops. Let me get it out, there we go. Some roast, pot roast. Here's some carrots, and some potatoes. We'll 
we'll do a little bit of green bean. Dip this up a biscuit. This uh, butter swim biscuit recipe is a very easy recipe and it you don't even have to add extra butter to it. So all right, we'll go over to the table. All right, um, we have our uh, crock pot roast with the vegetables and gravy, green beans, potatoes, carrots, and a biscuit. Now let's give it a try and see. Mm. A little bit of the roast. See how tender it is? It just. And this is a uh, this is also a good way if you don't put the vegetables in it. If you just use that same gravy in it, you can shred it up and make roast roast beef sandwiches. We'll do that. We'll do that one time too. Let's give this a try. Probably pretty hot though. Oh my goodness. Dina, you get to take some of this home tonight. How's that sound? <laughs> Sounds perfect. And some potato. Mm hmm. And a little bit of this biscuit. You don't even have to add butter. That's a nice compliment to the roast. Now that was simple. I came home, plated my plate, dinner is done, and cleanup is relatively easy. So today I have a scripture and it's Jesus will always point you in the right direction. <clears throat> Our days are filled with a lot of excitement, sometimes tragedy, sometimes just mundane. But if we ask Jesus every day to direct us the way he wants us to go, he will speak to us. He will give us the right way to go. Thank you so much for joining us today. And um, I hope this is a fun, easy recipe for you. Um, we're praying for all those that have COVID and that are healing. Um, pray for the teachers and the nurse staff that are all going back to work now. Things are getting we're all, all back in gear. Please keep them in your prayer. Keep our children in your prayer for safety and peace. And uh, I hope you have a place to worship this week and have a lovely day.